Hello dear students, this is Ashwini S, Assistant Professor of Mathematics. The topic which we are going to discuss today is Jacobians and Properties, which comes under BSc, Subject Mathematics Paper 1, in 3rd semester, Unit 2, Real Analysis 1. Let's see the definition of Jacobian of order 2. If u, v are the functions of two independent variables x, y, with continuous partial derivatives, dou u by dou x, comma, dou u by dou y, comma, dou v by dou x, comma, dou v by dou y, then j is equal to determinant of, it is a 2 cross 2 determinant, dou u by dou x, dou u by dou y, dou v by dou x, dou v by dou y, is called Jacobian of u, comma, v with respect to x, comma, y. It is denoted by j is equal to dou of u, comma, v divided by dou of x, comma, y. Let's see the definition for order 3. So here we will be considering three functions. If u comma v comma w are functions of x comma y comma z, then a Jacobian of order 3 can be denoted by dou of u comma v comma w divided by dou of x comma y comma z. That will be equal to, so we are going to consider a 3 cross 3 determinant here, a determinant of dou u by dou x, dou u by dou y, dou u by dou z, dou v by dou x, dou v by dou y, dou v by dou z, dou w by dou x, dou w by dou y, dou w by dou z. Here u, v, w will be dependent variables, x, y, z are independent variables and you have to remember partial differentiation for this. Let's solve few problems. The first problem is Find the Jacobian of u is equal to x plus y and v is equal to x, y. So let's write down the given equation. Now let me consider u is equal to x plus y. What we will do here is we are going to differentiate u partially with respect to x and y separately. When I partially differentiate u with respect to x, you know dou u by dou x becomes 1. And when I partially differentiate u with respect to y, dou u by dou y is equal to 1. So next we have v is equal to x y. Now partially differentiate v with respect to x treating y as a constant. So dou v by dou x will be equal to y remains same. Differential of x becomes 1. So 1 into y is y. And dou v by dou y is equal to x into differential of y is 1. So x into 1 is x. So now we are going to write the formula for Jacobian which is dou of u comma v divided by dou of x comma y is equal to determinant of dou u by dou x, dou u by dou y, dou v by dou x, dou v by dou y. Let us substitute the corresponding values in the determinant. So we get 1, 1, y, x. You all know how to solve this 2 cross 2 determinants. First cross multiply, then subtract and then cross multiply. So 1 into x is x minus 1 into y is y. Hence, a Jacobian is x minus y. Let's solve a second problem. The problem says you have to find the Jacobian of two second order functions. u is equal to 2xy and v is equal to x by y. So let me consider u is equal to 2xy and differentiate this u partially with respect to x and partially with respect to y separately. When I partially differentiate u with respect to x, 2y becomes a constant, differential of x becomes 1, hence you get 2y. When we partially differentiate u with respect to y, x becomes a constant, so 2x remains the same, differential of y is 1, so 2x into 1 becomes 2x. Now let's consider v is equal to x by y. Differentiate v partially with respect to x. So when I am doing that, 1 by y remains a constant. x is in the numerator. So differential of x is 1. So 1 into 1 by y becomes 1 divided by y. Now let's differentiate this v with respect to y partially. So dou v by dou y is equal to x remains same. Now we have to differentiate 1 by y. You know, differential of 1 by y is minus 1 by x square. Therefore, you get minus x by 
pi square. Now we have differentiated the given two equations partially with respect to x and y separately. The next step would be to write the formula of Jacobian, substitute the value, simplify and then get the answer. So let's substitute the value. Dou of u comma v divided by dou of x comma y is equal to determinant of dou u by dou x, dou u by dou y, dou v by dou x, dou v by dou y. So when I substitute the values, we get determinant of 2y, 2x, 1 by y minus x by y squared. And let's solve them. So 2y into minus x by y squared, 1y and 1y gets cancelled. So I'll be getting minus 2x by y minus 2x by y. So when I simplify this, this becomes minus 4x by y, which is the Jacobian of the given problem. Now let's look into the properties of Jacobians. There are three properties. The first property, if u comma v are functions of x and y and x comma y are functions of r comma s, then dou of u comma v divided by dou of r comma s is equal to. So first what we will do is we will be considering u comma v with respect to x and y and then x comma y with respect to r and s. So similarly when you write it the formula becomes dou of u comma v divided by dou of x comma y into dou of x comma y divided by dou of r comma s. Now let's see the second property. If u comma v are functions of x comma y then dou of u comma v divided by dou of x comma y into dou of x comma y divided by dou of u comma v is equal to 1. When you look into the property itself you know they get cancelled individually and you also know that dou of u comma v divided by dou of x comma y is equal to j and therefore dou of x comma y by dou of u comma v will be j dash. So from this we may get the result j into j dash is equal to 1. Third property is if I consider two functions capital F of u comma v comma x comma y and equate it to 0 and another function g of u comma v comma x comma y is equal to 0 then we define the functions u comma v explicitly as the functions of the independent variables x and y then dou of u comma v by dou of x comma y will be equal to minus 1 whole square into dou of f comma g by dou of x comma y divided by dou of f comma g by dou of u comma v. Now let us verify the condition j into j dash is equal to 1. So the given problem is if x is equal to u into 1 minus v y is equal to uv we are supposed to evaluate capital J which is dou of x comma y by dou of u comma v and j dash which is dou of u comma v by dou of x comma y individually we have to find these two results which on multiplication should give me one as the answer so when we start the solution we will write down the two equations as equation 1 and equation 2 and then what we are supposed to do is we will be differentiating equation 1 and 2 partially with respect to x and y. So when I differentiate x is equal to u into 1 minus v partially with respect to u I will get dou x by dou u is equal to 1 minus v and dou x by dou v is equal to minus u. Next I will be taking y is equal to uv and partially differentiate with respect to u and v. So dou v by dou u will be equal to dou y by dou u is equal to v and dou y by dou v is equal to u treating the other one as the constant. So on substitution in the formula I will be getting determinant of 1 minus v minus u v into u. So this on simplification becomes u into 1 minus v plus u v. So let's multiply each term. When I multiply each term and simplify u v gets cancelled. So our answer becomes u. 
So what have we got so far is we have got the answer j is equal to u. Next we have to find the value of j dash. So for that I will be considering these two equations. You know x is equal to u into 1 minus v which on multiplication gives me u minus uv. And we already know that uv is nothing but y. Therefore, x is equal to u minus v. I want u in terms of x and y. So, rewriting this equation I get u is equal to x plus y. I call this as equation 3. So, next condition is I have y is equal to u divided by v. From this, v is equal to y divided by u. We also know that u is equal to x plus y. Hence, v is equal to y divided by x plus y. Our next step would be to differentiate equation 3 and equation 4 partially with respect to x and y. See, that is what as I told you. So, now dou u by dou x will be equal to 1. Dou u by dou y is also equal to 1. Now, let us see what is this v. You know v is y divided by x plus y. When I have to differentiate this partially with respect to y, y becomes a constant and differential of 1 by x plus y would be minus y divided by x plus y whole square which is here. Now, dou v by dou y should be differentiation of the term y divided by x plus y. Now, since both numerator and denominator are functions of y, we would be using quotient rule. So, using quotient rule and solving, we get the answer as x divided by x plus y whole square. Now, j dash is equal to dou of u comma v divided by dou of x comma y. That is equal to determinant of dou u by dou x, dou u by dou y, dou v by dou x, dou v by dou y. Let us substitute the values. So, and then let me simplify it. So, you get x divided by x plus y whole square plus y divided by x plus y whole square. So, you, it has a common denominator. On simplification, I will be getting 1 by x plus y and we already know this is u. So, our j dash value is equal to 1 by u. We are supposed to find j into j dash. So, the value of j is u. The value of j dash is 1 by u. Multiplying both u and 1 by u gets cancelled. Hence, our answer is 1. Now, let us solve the next problem. If x plus y is equal to u and y is equal to uv, find dou of u comma v divided by dou of x comma y. Now, let me consider the first equation in terms of f. So, capital F will be equal to x plus y minus u and capital G would be equal to y minus uv. Let them respectively be called equation 1 and equation 2. Therefore, the function takes the form f is equal to 0 and g is equal to 0. We then solve the problem using the result. This is nothing but your third property of Jacobian. Dou of u comma v divided by dou of x comma y is equal to minus 1 whole square into dou of f comma g by dou of x comma y divided by dou of f comma g divided by dou of u comma v. Now, this is of second order because there are only two variables u comma v. Now, let me differentiate equation 1 partially with respect to x, y, u and v. Now, what is our f? It is x plus y minus u. So, dou f by dou x is 1, dou f by dou y is 1, dou f by dou u is minus 1 and with respect to v it becomes 0. Similarly, differentiate equation 2 partially with respect to x, y, u and v. We get those answers. Dou g by dou x is 0 dou g by dou y is 1, dou g by dou u is minus v, dou f by dou v is equal to minus u. Now, let us substitute this in the formula dou of f comma g divided by dou of x comma y. So, our answer becomes 1. Now, let us differentiate dou of f comma g by dou of u comma v. That will be equal to u. 
So therefore, do of u comma v by do of x comma y is equal to minus 1 by whole square into 1 by u that's equal to 1 divided by x plus y. So the references which I have used is a textbook of BSA Mathematics by G.K. Ranganath.